All right, so tonight we're going to look at a uh, PowerMate L1 uh, material handler. So this is like uh, a dolly with inflatable tires on it that's capable of going uh, up and down stairs. So with the L1 model, it's only capable of lifting the wheels. Where the LE1 model, it's cap it has two sets of lifting gears in it. So it can lift the wheels or it can leave the wheels on the ground and it can lift the entire platform. So that can be handy for loading things into the back of vans and whatnot where you don't have the ability to lift the whole piece of equipment into the van like the entire dolly. So uh, this one I just picked it up uh, today. It's a used model. We'll take a look at it briefly. There's uh, probably eight different versions of this product. This one's from around 2014 based on the uh, serial number. So I'll just take uh, a quick look at it. So one. Uh, so I'm going to have a charger up here, or this one has a charger connection down on the bottom of it. And uh, to get the uh, serial number, it's just going to be stamped right in here. So this one is 36223. Hopefully it's not stolen. I only paid $200 for it. The guys that I bought it from only had it for two years. And uh, he lost the charger and didn't seem to feel like using it very much. He said it was kind of awkward to use it in some small spaces. He cleans out houses for a living and he said that with two people when he's moving just household goods he's better off just using a, a cheap little dolly instead of using this. So this one comes with one bar. There's just a couple of like uh, thumb screws on the back to hold this straight. There's a piece of felt on it. If you wanted to have a longer front piece to it, all it is is a piece of metal that comes out. Then there's two pins that hook on to this aluminum plate so you could make one yourself if you wanted to then they make attachments for moving like gas cylinders like you see in the back these ones aren't too heavy but I have some other ones that are higher pressure they're very heavy they're like 200 pounds empty so with those if you needed to bring it into a lab somewhere that might be up a couple steps you might want to use one of these I've seen other places where they have a, a gantry crane that swings out to bring it up onto the dock and into the building and uh, this might be easier. There's a couple different ways of bringing things into the building. So uh, I guess we'll take a look at it. I said like the, the charger is missing and the batteries are probably only good for two or three years. That's my experience with the, because it's just like a, a gel cell battery you might see in the fire alarm panel or various other electrical equipment or UPSs. And after a couple of years of being under potential, they usually swell up and they don't work very well. So I'm just going to take these batteries out. You can get them direct, directly from uh, PowerMate. It, from what I looked on their website, they support their products very well. Everything is still available. But uh, I bought this thing cheap. I don't want to put a lot of money into it. So I'm just going to find some uh, suitable batteries that go in it. One thing I noticed is that the handle on this one has been shifted very far to the right. And somebody had removed the on-off switch from it. So uh, we'll take a look at that. I think it's just because when you're trying to move it up and down the stairs, with this handle centered, the on-off switch can be in the way. You could drill a hole and put it down here. It's just a half inch hole into aluminum. It's all extruded aluminum parts. There's no welding in the construction. There's a cast part here. But for the most part, it's a very simple piece of equipment. So uh, to take the back off, there's no fasteners on it. It's just kind of, it's a clamshell. It's just hooked on here. So all I do is kind of lift it up on the corner with a flat screwdriver, and then reach in, and I was able to get it out. So now I'll have to take the uh, axle off to get into the batteries. So I'll just shut off the video and get things adjusted. Then we'll uh, take a quicker, a closer look at changing the battery. All right, so this is the on-off switch in this uh, version of the product. Like I said, there's multiple versions. And then there's uh, two switches here. It, it's got pictograms on it to show you that you're lifting the wheels and at the same time lowering the load and vice versa. So you can take a look at that and try to understand the product. So there's just two screws here giving you access to the interior wiring. 
sure that's not focused right now. It's way too close to the lens. So when I got it, these two wires were taken off of here and then just bolted together. They just had a, a little bolt here, machine screw, and some electrical tape wrapped around it and just tucked in here just to keep it out of the way. Like I said, I think that it's just been a nuisance conceivably for whoever was using it. I don't know who had bought this originally. Then there's just two simple electrical switches in there. Wiring is pretty easy on this end of it. There's more at the bottom so uh, it appears that this handle is just kind of pressed in here so if I wanted to recenter it you can see it's just like a uh, gripped in there. I probably have to take the handle off, like the plastic handle off and hammer it in with a hammer and then put the handle back cover back on otherwise it's just going to get damaged because from the other side like the end of it is kind of squished in like somebody probably was hitting it with a hammer so okay now we'll, we'll move on to the next part with uh, taking the bottom apart alright so this is the uh, the inside of the unit here so you can see there's a, a circuit board in here it's got the battery positive and negative marked over here and uh, also here. So the positive side is over here, negative side is over here. This machine runs on a 12 volt charger so I guess that these batteries are uh, going to be either 12 volt batteries. I'll get a better look at that in a second but anyway so they'll be wired in a particular way and they're shimmed with a bit of foam which is the same if you look at the parts description of this product that's how they're uh, set up. So you just pull a cotter pin on one side. These have uh, greasable axles so they're pretty easy to, it should be pretty easy to work on I want to say that. So I just take a hammer and knock that wheel off of there so we can get to the battery. I'll try to be gentle on it. Yeah. If it's been outside or something it might a long period of time it might be harder to work on but the axle shaft it never ends yeah so it's got a, a greasable fitting and unfortunately the air chuck is on the other side for some reason although that could be changed I could take that apart and put it back the way I like it it's possible that it's had a wheel service at some point the batteries here I don't know if these are the original batteries or not considering it's got cardboard tucked in here thinking maybe they're not they're really tight in here see if I can flip the other one and look at it or not You just push on connectors. It's a bit of a puzzle. Alright, we got it. Yeah, so it's the same battery on both sides. So that's good. They haven't mixed them up in any way. So let's just take a closer look at them. So you can see the details there. Really when you're going to buy a battery like this you want to know what the amp hours are and the voltage are and then the dimensions of it. So be careful using a metal tape. So this battery is six inches wide three and three quarter inches tall and three and three quarters inches deep so it's more or less a rectangular 
and it's a sealed battery. It's obviously it's going to be in all the different positions. You can see that the uh, fill holes are sealed. It's probably some kind of a gel cell. It charges at 13.8 volts. So you could charge it with your car. Although they offer a um, like an isolated power supply. I think it's uh, like a three stage charger which is a, a good thing if you're going to buy it directly from uh, PowerMate. You can do that. I gotta decide what kind of charger I'm going to put on this. I might just put an Anderson plug on this so that I can charge it with uh, any car charger basically. So the part number on the battery, in case you can't read it, it's NGA 512-0010HS0SA. It's a GNB battery. Doesn't have any uh, markings for date on it. I don't believe. P5017. So it's conceivable as batteries from 2017 would make sense to me because like I said the batteries are good for about three years so uh, I'll take a look at another equipment handling device I've got here so uh, I guess as you get older you get less and less interested in lifting things that are heavy you buy this kind of stuff so over here I have an electric uh, power pallet jack and like I mentioned it has a Anderson connector on it, although you can't really see it's on the other side. But I'll probably just set it up so that it can use the same kind of charger. I just have a NOCO battery charger that I clip onto it and that works uh, pretty good because there's no point in having a whole bunch of different chargers when they're all the same voltage. So I think that's pretty much uh, be the end of the video. I've not used this product before or ever. So uh, I assume that it does a good job. It would be better if you could find the LE model. It's going to be heavier, but it has the same lifting capacity. And uh, it can probably do a few more tricks. So this one's good for 650 pounds. They have other models for different weight products. So uh, thank you for watching.